Hey everyone, it's Heather Nichols, and I've got a bunch of balloons here today to help celebrate a birthday or other special occasion. It all starts with the Balloon Bouquet Cling and Clear stamp set. There's a red rubber stamp of the balloon bouquet itself, along with two clear stamps that will fill in the colors on the balloons. I'll also be using the Balloon Bouquet Edition stamp set. This clear set includes additional balloon fills, confetti, a banner, and fun sentiments to celebrate. For dies, I'll be using the Balloon Bouquet Editions die collection. This includes the two sizes of balloons and the banner. For ink colors, I'll be using Sugar Cube and Oreo. I'll also be using Granny Smith, Candy Corn, Cookie Monster, Plum Punch, Guava, and Pineapple. I'm adding spatters to my project with Chocolate Truffle Liquid Watercolor, Sugar Cube Ink Refill, and a water brush. And finally, for adhesive, I'll be using some foam squares to pop up the balloons on my project. Are you ready to get started? Let's do this. To start off, I'm stamping the main balloon bouquet image in sugar cube ink on toffee cardstock. I'll line it up in my misty onto the piece of cardstock where I want it, and then I'll close the lid of the misty to pick up the stamp on the lid. I'll ink up the stamp with sugar cube ink and stamp it onto the toffee cardstock. I'm sharing three different color combination possibilities for this project, so I'll stamp this image three times. Next, it's time to add the confetti details. Those are from the clear set and so I need to add the foam into my misty to bump the cardstock up to be the right height to stamp the images. I'm using the single pieces of confetti and I'll set those where I want them on my image. I'll pick them up with the lid of the misty and then ink up my stamps with sugar cube ink and close the lid of the misty to stamp them on my project. I'll stamp the confetti for all three cards and then I'll rearrange the confetti images to fill up the background and repeat the process. Next I'll die cut the balloon shapes from sugar cube cardstock using my sidekick die cut machine. I'll die cut enough for the three cards and I'll also die cut the banner shapes that I'm going to stamp my sentiment on from sugar cube cardstock. To stamp the balloons, I'm setting up a template in my MISTI. What I'll do is I'll stamp the balloon onto the grid paper in the MISTI, and then I have a template made of cardstock, uh, the reverse of the die cut, and I'll tape that over the image and line it up just where I want it. That way, when I stamp the balloons, I'll just put the die cut piece into the opening on the template, and then ink up the stamp and stamp it onto the die cut piece. I'll repeat this process for the different patterns, and I'll be swapping out colors for all of the different color combinations that I'm using on my projects. I'll use the same process again to stamp the banner image. I'll stamp that onto the grid paper and then I have a template that I cut the die cut piece out of that I'll line up over the stamped image so that everything stamps just where I want it to. I'll add the die cut piece back into the template and stamp the banners onto the die cut pieces using Oreo ink. I'll be stamping the hip hip hooray sentiment onto each of the banners. I will just line that clear stamp up right on top of that stamped banner image. And then when I have it where I want it, I will pick it up with the lid of the misty, ink it up with Oreo ink and stamp it onto the banner image. I'll swap out the different pieces to stamp the sentiment on each of the banners for my cards. I love adding spatters to my projects and I'll do that with some sugar cube ink refill and chocolate truffle liquid watercolor. I'm putting a drop of each onto an acrylic block. I'll pick up the colors with a water brush and then I will tap the brush over my fingers to add the spatters to my project. I added each of the stamped backgrounds to a sugar cube card base and now I'm taking my die cut balloons and I'm adding them to the image over the corresponding sizes using foam tape just to pop them up a bit on the project. On one of my project I used the color combination of candy corn, granny smith, and cookie monster. On another project I used the color combination of guava, 
pineapple, and plum punch. And on the third project, I combined those two color combinations together to create a fun rainbow bouquet of balloons. You could easily swap out the colors to customize this project for the recipient of your card. Finally, I added the cute banners with the hip hip hooray sentiments across the bottom of my card overlapping the balloon strings. I popped these up with foam tape as well. I hope you enjoyed learning how I created this fun bunch of birthday balloon cards. You can find the supplies to create this project in the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com. Thanks so much for joining me everybody and I'll see you next time. Oh,